I analyze how to conduct industrial policy in a production network. By industrial policy, what I mean is the selective intervention by the government. These kind of policies are prevalent not only in developing economies today, but also during the early stages of development for many of the now advanced economies. How should government pick sector to support, recognizing the fact that industries supply inputs to and buy from each other? If the government chooses to subsidize one sector and promote the economic activity in a given sector, that will have ripple effects throughout the network and affect allocations in potentially every other sector. How do we look at the network structure and mathematically select the sectors to promote? If we don't really know where the imperfections are, but only have an idea of the network structure, can we still come up with a robust policy prescription of how to pick sectors based on the network structure? I first mathematically characterize in a network Given market imperfections or given the distribution of market imperfections, a centrality measure that captures the aggregate impact of government intervention in each sector. That is, if the government subsidizes a particular sector, the effect will ripple through the network and affect allocations everywhere in the whole economy. I show that if the economy follows a hierarchical structure of production, meaning there's a well-defined set of upstream sectors such as iron and steel and chemical that supply to many downstream other sectors, then in the whole economy, we can come up with a list of importance or the high distortion centrality sectors without taking a firm stance even on the distribution of distortions. We want to subsidize sectors where the distortion centrality is large and tax sectors where the distortion centrality number is small. So applying this theory, I look at input output tables of these economies and come up with distortion centrality measures and use the measure to evaluate the effectiveness of government intervention. The broad takeaway is that there seems to be certain aspects in South Korea and modern day China's industrial strategy that seems to capture these positive network effects in selecting sectors to promote and seem to have, at least um, according to my analysis, provided some positive aggregate impact.